class. So this afternoon we're looking at the test that is the recommended test for jam exam under the use of English. So the title of the test is US 16 and the author or the writer's name is Olaiti Abdullah. Uh, under the test, we're looking at various concepts related to the test or the literature work. Now, the first thing I want to do to integrate us with under this concept is, is what we call classification. Classification. And under this, we have two. We have what we call non-fiction and we are fiction so in literary work of art when we talk about non-fiction we mean story work or text or textual that this way true life story true life story that has to do with true life experience. Or true life experience. experience. So that is what we call non-fiction. Then also, we also have what we call fiction. Fiction is the direct opposite of non-fiction. And by definition, fiction means story work or artistic work of art that is going for the path of imagination. For the path of imagination. So what we are saying here is that there are tests or artistic work of art that are not true. Eh, that are not true. That is a situation where the writer sits down in the corner of his office or his room, they think of a story or an, an idea strike the mind of the writer and then he or she began to write. So that's what we call fiction. So that's the first thing I want us to know. So that not all books that we lay our hands on or that we read or all films or movies that we watch that are actually true. Some are true and some are not true. So those films or books that we read or we watch that this way, true life story or experience or event is what we call non-fiction. But those ones that are not true, those ones that the writer just have the power of imagination of, or the writer for the prowess of reasoning, he or she is able to put down words and then relate it to the others, so we call fiction. So that's the first thing I want us to bear in mind. So then the second thing as we prepare for this exam, please, it is possible that the question we ask you that what is the participation of this system? Please, it is what we call fiction. Are you getting because the story there does not happen or it didn't happen anywhere in the world. Are you getting the story did not happen? There is no way in the world or any community where we have a real life character that bears the name of Ali, are you getting it? Or Grace and so on and so forth. There's no way in the world the writer will be sitting down and then decide the story for the power of imagination of an thought to that is the reason why it is called fiction. Then the second thing I want us to bear in mind as we go in for this exam too is types. Types of tests. So particularly what we call talk of proofs or no. Uh, so we have what we call short story. And then we have what we call novella. Then we have what we call no. So this is to tell us that it is not all tests or textual that we lay our hand upon that are actually called no. no. Some are short story. I think writers in the 16th century and 17th century call it short short story. 
But modern writers say no. In order to avoid the repetition of short, short story, they prefer the word or the phrase called short story. Then we have also have called novella and we also have a call. So the difference between this is that short story is a text or a book that read between page one to that's a name for thought. So this has books where candidates can sit down and read within one hour. Particularly our young brothers and sisters that are in primary classes and GSS classes. Are you getting it? Most of the book we read, are you getting it? Call them short story. And most of this short story takes pictures in order to inject to the reader's meta knowledge or meta idea or meta philosophy of what the speaker is trying to say. Then there is a sense of elementary knowledge in it because of the picture. You want to see a picture, the picture you see and then it sends the message to the regular of Lagata and the main brain interprets that picture then you understand what the writer is trying to say. Or what the writer is to that word called short story. The one talk of novella by Vumi read between page one to read fifty and above. Are you getting it? Sixty sixty nine, there are about so so that is what we call the word. But it is not up to novel because a novel read between one to 100 or let's say 99 or 90 from 90 and go. A noble spread from 1 to 90. Then I think like uh, half of a yellow song, half of a yellow song is between page 1 to 900 and something pages. 900 and something pages. So a noble could be 1000 pages. I get it. So that is what we are now saying that there is different between these types. So, by the virtue of this test, this test is under what we call novel. So, this when you go for exam and you are asked the level or the type that this novel belongs to, so called novel. So, it is not a novel per se because it's between, I think the last time I checked is page 1 to 53. So, it is for other class of what we call novel. Is that it? Then the next thing I want us to do is name. Nice. Writer's name. I get one top of writer or author. Let's say, let's say writer slash author. This are general names. Are you getting it? To people who write. So a writer is saying as an author. Are you getting it? To somebody who is a writer is also an author. So it's a general name. But somebody who specializes in writing, in writing logo or close work, are you getting it? We call such person novelist. So, Bonaji Abulai is a novelist. Then, people who specialize in writing play or drama is what we call playwrights. So, he is not a playwright. Then, people who specialize in writing poem is what we call poets. So if you look at the manner by which this story is written, are you getting it? It takes the, it takes the approach of what we call novel or prose. Because the difference between a novel and drama is that in writing drama, the writer will indicate the name of a particular character. Then the writer will tell you what he or she says. For instance, the, the, the writer or the author can tell you blessing, they will wear name blessing. 
and then give the color. I get to know. And then he will now tell you what blessings say. Then if there's another character in that conversation or in that communicative ever, then you will now write the name of the other character. If the other character is a boy, you now tell you the, the dot or semicolon and also tell you what the person say in return as a, in line with what this person has said. Are you getting it? That is drama. But in post writing or post fiction or novel, are you getting it? The novelist will just narrate it as if he's telling you a story. Are you getting it? One person is telling you the whole story. So there is no miss by which the writer show you or indicate conversation between two characters at the same time or in the particular scene. But a situation where character exchange ideas, conversation talk and the rest of it, that gives you the sense of drama. Either. And the writer or the author will have to indicate that okay, this person said this person said this and the rest of it. That is how drama is written. I get it. So, Drama is written in what we call art and scenes. That is drama. Mm -hmm. But no book or close work are written in chapters. Why when are uh, written in what we call stanza and and Verse or lines. See now. So if you look at this test that we are considering now, we have 16 chapters still. Listen. Now. So there's all like at one, say one, say two, say three. So that gives us the sense that it is not a play. It means that it is not a drama, but what a novel or a close one. You understand? So please, if you are asking an exam, that what type of book is suited to stay? Please, it is a novel. I get it. And the person who writes a book is called novel. But under the, the type of novel, it is what we call short story. Is that it? Then that is one. Then the next thing I want to intimidate us with is a it's all called styles. Okay, just it. So the next thing I want us to have in our mind as we go in for this exam is all called styles. So every human being or every human being have what we call style. Are you getting it now? I have this style of life that I've choose for myself. Maybe the way I want to dress, that's the style I've chosen for myself. The way I want to take my step if I'm walking, it's a style that I've chosen for myself. The day I want to eat my local food. I think the other day I went to Barcelona Hotel and I was served a yam. I was very happy with vegetable soup. I said, yeah, that shows that I'm an African man. But they provoke me. What did they do? They not serve me spoon that I should use spoon to eat by the year. And those people are saying, they let me to somewhere that I wash my hands, my five fingers, cannot deceive me. I cut the pandayam and I rolled it like God. And I dipped it inside the soup and I saw that there's no accident, it just went inside. Straight. But if I should use a knife and cut and then use pot, it will not straight, it will not be smooth. <laughs> so that is the type of life I've chosen for myself. That I'm, I'm not a colonized man. You cannot say I put on a thing. Some of you are colonized. It's a style I've chosen for myself that I'm a typical African man. So the type of do I, I also make is a style that I've chosen myself. I think today I always see some boys, they will play their hair. Like it. That's the style that I put some as I said. So guys will not put ear in too. I ain't getting it. That's a, it's a style that I choose for themselves. At times, if I look at some ladies' leg, I will see handcuff on their leg. That that is the way they, they want to live their life. That whenever they are going, there must be an anchor on their leg. Imagine, it's a style that I choose for themselves. I ain't getting it. 
So we all have style of life that we have choose for ourselves. Then likewise in writing, different writers have different style. Are you getting? Now in writing, we have three basic style, particularly under short story or novel or prose work. We have what we call first person pronoun style. Then we have what we call second person pronoun style. Then we have what we call third person pronoun style. So these styles can also be called point of view. In case in exam, the day as of style and you say point of view, still say point of view. You still the same thing asking you. I get it. So when we talk of first person pronoun, it means that one character have the idea of the whole story or the storylines or the message. So if you take time and read this text, you remember that it's one person that is telling all the whole story. And who is that person? Eh? Alia. She's the only one that tells all the story, what the father says, how the father is. I get the discussion between she and the father is the one that is telling you. Uh, the character of the mother, the character of uh, Aki, the character, the role of Grace, on everything, she's the one. The, she's the one that describes the principle. So she's the one telling us everything. I get me? That is what we call first person pronoun or first person point of view. So a situation one, and that's why you look at under the first person, you can use of the word I, where he's talking of singular pronoun. Then you can use of the word we, plural, when it's friends to more than one. Are you getting it? Then it's the person that informs us about all the names of other characters. So Aki did not really say anything. She was the one that is telling us what Aki said. She was the one that narrates the character of Aki to us. She was the one who described Aki and described every other person. Where the, the day the father visited her in school, she was the one who described the visit. She was the one who narrates how the father went, or both of them went to a place and sat down and he came to this course. She was the one who would tell us everything. So that's what we call first person pronoun. They want to talk of second person pronoun. Second person pronoun is defined by you. That is you. The situation where the character, where the writer, I get me, use the word you. I get me to tell us the story or an account. The so called second person pronoun. The whole talk of third person pronoun. Third person pronoun always makes use of he or she. Because the word he or she is third person pronoun. So a situation where this third person pronoun is also known as omniscience style or point of view. Omni what? Science. That is a situation where a character assumes the all knowing. That is, he or she knows everything. Just like God. So when a narrator assumes that position, so we call third person pronoun or point so to this novel the style here is this are you getting it first person point of view first person then we also have the last thing i want you to bear in mind is what we call character and characterization Is what we call character. So, in a simple palace way, characters means participants. That is people that play one role or the other. In the 
development of the story, then we can also call them casts. We can also call them copy of casts. Copy of casts. We can also call them actors and actresses. So when we're talking of actors, we mean the main character. That is somebody with a main gender. When we talk of actresses, we mean female character or female uh, participants. That's just different. And in the story, the narrator tells main preference to male and female. So it is not a feminist or menacing story. I can talk about both gender. So now, so we have under novel, or yes, under novel we have two major characters we always point to. But in drama, we have like three, four types of characters. But in novel, our interest is basically on two major characters. We have what we call protagonists. And then we have what we call antagonists. So what we talk about antagonists? Protagonist, rather. And protagonist is the leading character. Leading character. In a story, the main character. The character that the story involves around. I get to name. And that character is also the good character. The, play, the character plays good roles. And the story centers of that character. Then we also have antagonist. Antagonist is the bad man of the Chinese film, the bad character. The character that always looking for the downfall of other characters. I get in order, always try to create problems for other characters in the movie or in text or in any artistic work of art. It's what we call antagonist. It's an enemy. I get it. So these are the things I want us to bear in mind. And in this test, our protagonist is no other person than our protagonist. Yeah. So it has to be our protagonist. It's the major character. The story center of the character. I get it. The story center about my experience, our family life cycle, our education, and so on and so forth. So that is what I want to say.